Hello, St. Andrews, and welcome to this week's edition of Chancel Chat. Um, I want to begin by telling you that uh, I had a conversation with Deacon Joe this morning, and uh, he told me that earlier this week he had a very positive uh, meeting with his uh, surgeon, and the surgeon has given him a clean bill of health to return uh, his, to his activities here at St. Andrews. And uh, beginning this Saturday night, we'll be seeing Joe uh, uh, leading, helping to lead in worship uh, here at St. Andrews. Of course, we're delighted. It's been a long three months since his surgery, and it's been a, a difficult uh, recovery and rehabilitation, but uh, Joe tells me that he's absolutely free of the chronic pain that was uh, um, uh, afflicted him before the surgery, so we're delighted about that, and we're looking forward, of course, to his return to his activities as deacon here at St. Andrews. Um, this evening, we'll be having the third of our four sessions of a summer book study on the Book of Common Prayer. Tonight, we'll be meeting at the home of Pat and Bob McCulloch, which is located on 610 Powell Road in East Hampton. And uh, our, our topic tonight will be the spirituality of the prayer book. And then our final session, one week from tonight, on the 25th of uh, July, we'll be at the home of our warden, Chris Miller, and his wife, Karen. They live at 612 Lumberton Road in Hainesport. So uh, please join us for these last two sessions if you are able. We've had a good time and a good group of uh, uh, parishioners participating and some very interesting and I think important conversation around uh, the prayer book. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, I'll be preaching and presiding in all three of the liturgies on Saturday evening at 5 o'clock and Sunday morning at 8 and 10. And um, just want to say a word, give you an update on the Steinway fundraising campaign. As of this morning, we are just a, a little shy of $1,500 has been donated. Um, uh, our goal is to raise half of the cost, the estimated cost of repairing and rehabilitating the 1928 Steinway piano, which we estimate at about $30,000. So we've got a ways to go. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation, you can do it either online. We've set up a GoFundMe page, uh, which provides a simple, safe way to make an online donation. Or you can simply write a check made out to St. Andrew's Church, and in the notation line of the check, just indicate that it's for the Steinway fundraiser. I have a couple of save the date items that I'd like to share with you uh, this morning. The first is a, a special meeting that's be, been scheduled for Wednesday, Tuesday, August 1st, from 7 till 9 p.m. here at St. Andrews in our parish house. Uh, Bishop Stokes has requested the, the use of our facilities to con conduct a general conversation with lay people from throughout the Burlington Convocation. And the conversation will focus on several vital questions that uh, relate to the relationship between the diocese and the mission and ministry of the Diocese of New Jersey and the parishes of the diocese. So um, it's open to all lay people. Please uh, consider yourselves uh, invited and encouraged to come and, and uh, meet with our bishop and talk about uh, that, that important relationship that we have with the Diocese of New Jersey. Uh, the second event, uh, Save the Date event, is the, the annual church picnic, which will be held on Sunday, the 27th of August, uh, at the home of John Emanuel and Frank Marchese, where we held the, the uh, uh, picnic last year. Uh, the schedule for, the day, for that day will be, we'll have a single service at 8 o'clock here at St. Andrews, and then the 10 o'clock service will be held on the deck at uh, Frank and John's home in Lumberton, and the, the liturgy will be followed immediately by our church picnic. And so we're hoping and praying for a, a lovely day of uh, late summer weather like we had last year. And uh, please save that date and, and make sure you're a part of this, one of the most enjoyable uh, events of the year here at St. Andrews. And then finally, uh, we've identified the weekend of September 9th and 10th as Welcome Back Weekend here at St. Andrews. And the uh, details of the events of that weekend are still being planned and developed, but uh, please save that date and plan to be with us uh, that weekend. So that's about all I have uh, for today. I hope you and your family are enjoying the crazy, hazy, lazy days of summer, and we will talk again uh, next week. God bless you.